What's up everybody? So now we've got Python and Atom installed. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to open up Atom here. And I have a tool called Cinch. It's pretty sweet. It'll just um, basically move your windows into like half the screen, quarter of the screen, or full screen pretty easily. I think it's $1.99, but it's well worth it. it. Saves me a ton of time. And here's our terminal. We also need to open that. And let's have it on the right side over here. All right, first thing we're gonna do is save this file as python.py. All fi Python files end in a py extension. And make sure you save it on your desktop, just for the purposes of this tutorial. All right, so you can see this pane has all of the things on my desktop. We're just gonna get rid of that for now. All right, so now in our terminal, we need to navigate to the desktop. So there's a couple ways we can do this. Um, I'm just gonna type ls here, and that lists my current directory because right now I'm in the root directory. And as you can see, the desktop is within this root, direct, root directory. So all I need to do is type cd, which means change directory, desktop. Now I'm on my desktop. As you can see, all this stuff is from my desktop. Next, I'm just gonna type clear to clear out this terminal. Um, so let's go ahead and write our hello world program. So in Python, to print things to the console or to print them out in our program, all we need to type is print parentheses, quotations, hello world. That's it. That's the beauty of Python. It's only one line of code. We've accomplished our task. So now look at this blue dot here. That means we haven't saved it yet. I just use command S, or you can go into file and save. Now we need to run it inside of our terminal. So python.py is located on our desktop, and we are on our desktop right now in terminal. So all we have to do is type out this command. Python 3. Make sure you type the 3 because if you don't, it'll default to um, Python 2. And then we're going to type python.py because that's the name of our file. And there we go. Hello world. That's our first Python program. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to keep these videos short and sweet. So I'll see you guys in the next one.